be showing you the custom DPI groups on Jelly Beer ROM. So you want to go to Menu, Settings, Jelly Beer Settings, and UI Mode. And once you are in here, you are going to see you can change your LCD density, you can change your UI mode, and your DPI groups. Now, groups is where you can select custom applications. So under you see 240, I have my keyboard, so where it's a you know, regular keyboard instead of like the tablet mode. Gallery, where it's not in tablet mode. Falcon Pro, and messaging. Now I don't want those in tablet mode, so that's why they aren't. They are under 240, where they're a little bit larger. Now if I go under 160, you see I have YouTube. Now, when you put something under 160, which is a tablet UI, you know, like the density, see, if I go under YouTube, wait for this to load up, my internet's kind of slow, and you see it's the tablet YouTube. So that's, well, you know, one of the features of the DPI groups. You can select custom applications that you want. So say you want something in 120, if you just go to 120, you can select add application and say you want the I don't really know which application changes for the custom let's go to Google Drive now you see it it takes a little minute to add it and then once you're done just hit back and we'll go home and open up Google Drive so Google Drive is up here now you see once we open up Google Drive how small it is that is because it is meant for the tablet now so this is the tablet version of Google Drive. Now if you want to change it back, you just have to go back under settings. And if you long press on it, you can just select remove and hit okay. And now it'll be under you know the default UI size. But if you also want something a little bit larger, you can go up to the 480, which I don't recommend 480 cuz that's like the Droid DNA which has the 1080p screen. I would go 320, which is the normal DPI for this phone, I believe. So if we go under here and add application, and we go down to Google Drive again, just you know, just, just so I can show you guys the same app. See, you have to grant super user permissions because it asked. And make sure to close out Google Drive too, by the way. Now let's go back, open it back up, and now you see that it's larger. That is because this is now the phone UI which it works well too. So that is how you change your custom DPI settings on Jelly Beer ROM. Now if you also want to know how you can change the hold density, let's go back under settings. And if you change the LCD density, now this is for all, like the all of the apps that you don't have customly selected. So say you want to change everything. You can specify a custom DPI or you can use one of these standard densities. 120 is tablet UI, 480 is for a 1080p, 1080p screen like the Droid DNA and the Oppo 5. 320 is for 720p displays like the Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus. Um, a lot of other phones actually have that. And then 240 is for I believe the 800 by 480 screens. So the larger you want something, yeah, you know, the higher the number you want that to be. Now, if you want more of like a tablet look, you know, you want to go down less. I don't recommend going too small because then you won't really be able to see it that well. But see, I have mine at 213 under tablet mode, and it works pretty well. So if you go back to UI mode, you can have none, so it just auto detects it. You can have the full-on tablet UI where you have the navigation bar at the bottom with the status bar at the bottom, you know, like Paranoid Android and phone UI, which is just you guessed it stock signage in mod 10 like on the galaxy nexus and stuff like that now phablet is custom to the galaxy note 2's name which i recommend using because it gives you more real estate and it also allows more custom use so you see how the adw launcher you know it just automatically fits the screen so you don't really have to mess with it that much but if you wanted it for the phone ui like say apex you have to you know, have a custom DPI to enable that under the tablet mode or you won't get the little app drawer at the top. You can change that under the DPI groups and stuff like that. So this was just my little hands on with the DPI groups. Hope if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment below and I will answer you as soon as I get it. Hope these have you know 
help solve any questions that you may have had. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any other kind of video on Jelly Bee or any ROM, be sure to leave a comment below for that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.